that John Desky carried a media network production. Copyright 2018, you see how that works? Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> ah, hey, good show, everyone. Good show. If I don't say so myself. What a fun, what a fun little production we just did. Uh, it took some serious turns, but you know what? We, we've got to win this, uh... Uh, when, when, when I have weeks like this where it's just like, you know, we've got, uh, we do have some very, you know, uh, some very heavy topics, uh, it's best to take the time to cover them, if that makes sense. You know, it, the show is turning more and more into an entertainment show, less of a news show. It's definitely not a straight-up politics show anymore. Despite what people say. Hey, good show. Uh, and again, yeah, that's... And again, if, again, if people have feedback on that topic, please do let me know. Uh, and if I got anything wrong, I do apologise. That's, that's just what I do. Uh, I am keeping the, these bits from the pre-show, though. We're going to be doing that again. Maybe that's, maybe that's a regular pre-show thing. Because we've got, we got the post show sorted out with the quiz. We've, we've always got a quiz. Except for this week, we don't have a quiz. <laughs> Every week we have something except for this week. But we got something. We got something this week. Uh, but right, I, I need bits. Comment, but, uh... Oh, hi. We got a caller live on the air. Hi, caller. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, yeah, this is Techie Gamer. Hi. Is it really only $50 to uh, change your name? <laughs> hi, Techie Gamer. Hi, Ral. Um... I believe so. That's the old joke, Out of right? Everything you said, that's that's what I comment on. <laughs> I mean, each their own, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, it's good. I mean, um, going a little serious, North and South Korea mm -hmm. working together. Yeah, I mean that's good. It's very I mean, good. I know the, yeah. I. I, I know you kind of do have to have that, like, what's happening, what's going on in the background right now. Because Wait. politically, yeah. China probably put a lot of pressure on North Korea. Maybe. They're the on, they're their only trading partner, so. Yeah. Uh, they they are the only trading partners, and I think, uh, for me, I think it's. It's less that, and I think it's, I think it's ahead of the talks that are happening in June with, with Mr. T, you know, uh. that, that are happening. And I think it's, we've finally come to a point where, you know, we, we can move on in the world and all come together, I think. Uh, Quasim is on the line. Hey, Quasim Rana. Welcome. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the post show. Uh, but no, continue, continue your point, Ralph. Yeah, I mean, I understand news have to come up with like catchy titles and clickbaities, oh. like oh, <laughs> Kim Jong Un brought his own toilet. Oh, Kim Jong Un is uh, holding hands. He steps weird, or he's in in awe of all the lights, or something like that. It's like really. Uh. I, yeah, otherwise, I mean, yeah, I get that they have to make titles like that, because otherwise some people won't even, like, pay attention that it's happening, but right, <laughs> but it's right. just it's just frustrating for the people who actually, like, care, like, because that's a, that is, like, a monumental thing, like, that, like, like you said, like, it hasn't been done in 60 years. Hmm. Um, well, I mean, like, they really ended the war, because the war yeah. was still... Yeah, yeah, they, like, they formally ended the war, they set up the demilitarized zone, and, like, they haven't, like, the reason that the crossing the, de like, crossing the border was such a big deal was because that hasn't been done since then. Since then, right. And I, I for me, I think it's less about the, I mean, it's still got, that, that's very, it's very important, right, that the two leaders... It's the, 
the symbolism of, of it is really oh, important. Yeah. It's very um, important. And especially to those that to that culture, it is very important. The symbolism of, of pretty much everything you do is really important. So yeah, and like I th- I guess I just object to the Daily Mail just going, Oh, that's a bromance now. Like oh. no. Yeah, that was Which, that's like that's oversimplification, I think, of the of the significance of it that right. upsets me the most, I guess. I mean, if we can get like uh relief into North Korea for those people because of these talks, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. That that's probably a long term goal. I think the long term goal here is to have it be one sort of nation, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, they they've always wanted like one nation, but I mean, eh. but they didn't know yeah, how to I, achieve no, it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that they have the tools in place to achieve that yet. Um, like it, it's it's certainly a really nice goal to have, but I don't know if they have the ability to do that at the at, like right now. I think right now it's more about trying to keep peace rather than than to come back together as one Korea. I think that's Yeah, I mean, let's uh people who want to come over the border can. I mean, families that have been separated for decades. Right. Mm-hmm. Because I uh, if I remember correctly, there are like workers that go into North Korea. If I'm remembering right, they actually crossed the border and all that because a while back, they actually closed the border. Right. Yeah, they did. I know. I know they did close the border, but I don't. I don't remember if I was paying attention if they like opened their border again to like specific people, but. I thought I thought it was always just open to specific people. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um. Oh, what was I say? But yeah, I mean, maybe they're lax on on their security. For a little while, because I mean, they've had what like two or three defections in like the same month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of them in a row. Yeah. Um, but I don't. The also another thing I don't appreciate is is Mister T's response a little bit. Not to get, not to take this in that direction, but <laughs> we're a politics yeah, well, show. No, 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 I'm just there's kidding. a there's a whole lot about. We can talk about that, Mr. or T. I, we can we can do that, or we can talk about we can do the TSA character again. We can we can always wheel that out. Uh, I'd rather have the TSA character. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's uh, a really man, awkward I show. Just, I don't know. I just. It's hard because it's like now okay like I just want I just want the I just want Mr. T to like sit down and like read something <laughs> <laughs> like once in his life um <laughs> like just reading something that would be great <laughs> just Ooh. right uh, the pig goes <sighs> Uh oh. I don't know. There's more than just his reaction to this Korean situation here that I just don't understand. Um, keep his cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I just don't get it. I just can't. I'm just waiting for that one day where he actually tweets out like top secret information and I mean you know, I don't I don't put it past him. That's the problem is that's that I gonna like, happen. I believe he'd do it. What's what's the rules if you post If you if you tweet confidential or like top secret information? I don't know. As, as, I mean that's... I know as a regular person, yeah, you get thrown into jail. But what yeah. happens when the president does I'm it? assuming he'd um, get thrown into jail as well. I think that's grounds. I I believe that is grounds for like for at least a trial, um, which obviously wouldn't matter to him. But <laughs> but like I did like his favorite place is a courtroom. Um, but <laughs> like well, I mean he's has he brags about suing like I know, everybody yeah. and their uncles. Right. 
cousins. Anyway, so <laughs> so, so to the post show, to the live show. <laughs> anyway, no, and, and I, um, I got most of that. Yeah. My in, my internet was crapping out a little bit, but we got we got most of that. There, there was a few. There was one thing. Uh, hey, guess what time it is? <laughs> Buzzfeed time? <laughs> it's Buzzfeed time. Hey, we don't have a quiz though. <laughs> what? Uh, and, whoa, whoa! Yeah, Buzzfeed does other things than uh, other than quizzes. You do things other than quizzes? What? <laughs> what is this? What is this show? Weird. Weird. Weird, right? Uh, our very own K Chan has uh, sent this in. Uh, by the way. Uh, th th it's very relevant to our uh, tartlet pie conversation, by the way. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 32 photos that show the difference between normal food and hipster food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I like this. This is the best. <laughs> We're back on board. We're back on board. We got it. We got this. I'm, I'm on board. For sure. Uh, by the way, thank you. Uh, uh, we will. We, uh, Black Cheeks is seventy nine. I can't believe I just said that username. Uh, and bouncing male organ. Uh, he they they asked uh, about do they make trains faces intentionally? Like do they make the front of trains look like faces intentionally? Uh, um, and we got a random uh, upswing because I don't know why. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is not a buzz. This is not a quiz, but this is just something fun to go through after that serious talk. Wow, this show is so serious yeah. this week. <laughs> it not is. It is a very serious topic, but rounding it out with the thirty-two photos that show the difference between normal food and hipster food, I think, is a good. All right, can we? That's a good way to go. Can we get an? Can we get an over under on how many of these are deconstructed? Oh, like, oh, God. It, it, like, it, it, I, I want to say over half, for sure. Half. Okay. okay, the term deconstructor is like, oh, you've got peanut butter and jelly, and they just give you the peanut butter, the jelly, and the toast. And the separate. bread, yeah. Right. yeah. It's, the bread. It's, it's the individual pieces that you then make into stuff yourself. Well, like the Vegemite <laughs> toast. I don't know why I went to Tartless Spies. I could have did set up, like, the Vegemite toast, like, from last, was oh. that last week? Um, was that only Yeah, last I think that was last Oh week. my god, it's been a long week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man, that was only a week ago. Like the seven dollar Vegemite on toast, where they'd give you the they, they would give you a Vegemite smear on a cutting board, <laughs> a little like ice cream scoop of butter and bread. Seven dollars they charged Just... for that. Oh man! All right, so we got Make we got it a... at your own damn house. Excuse I know. me, but I know. <laughs> And we talked about how you can get, like, three pounds of Vegemite for, like, seven bucks. Like, yeah, not even that. like, why would you buy that? Okay. okay. Anyway, All I right. guess we should get on to the hipster food. <laughs> Add quotes. On to the, on to the hipster food. Da, da, da. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to do jazzes on, on the news. On, on to the, the hipsters! Dun, 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 dun. Wait, no, we don't want to be on the hipsters, right? <laughs> Do we want to be on the hipsters? Anyway, this is going to be a long post show. All right, uh, normal spaghetti bolognese looks like this. You know, you got the spaghetti, you got the meat sauce. Uh, I hope you guys are playing along. Otherwise, this is going to be me describing uh, <laughs> very visual food. <laughs> I, you I am. I, okay. I, 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 I clicked your link and now I'm looking at it myself so right. uh, so we got yeah the, the, the bolognese that, that looks like a delicious bolognese with a bit of parmesan on top there and and that alright so here we yeah, go yeah that looks like normal <laughs> normal <laughs> spag ball that's regular, what it is regular ass spag ball uh, <laughs> now we got hipster I'm upset because I just scrolled down oh you just scrolled oh, down to oh, the hipster deconstructed to get him on Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. that's hilarious. Is that's... that like at a restaurant? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, that's at a restaurant. That's a lot that, of pasta, that, though. That be... It is a lot of pasta. For but one like, person? I don't think it's any more pasta than was in the first <laughs> picture. <laughs> it just looks like a lot because it's in a scientific <sighs> um. And that's jar. why. That's why. That's why that. Those things, those deconstructed things are popular because it's tricking your brain into thinking you're getting more than you would have gotten already. Like, huh. 
to begin with. It's like point. <laughs> but what's that? But in it's that the little... same thing. <laughs> what's that little container there? That's not parmesan cheese. I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that's exactly what it is. We have no <laughs> resolution to this, to this <laughs> sentence. Uh, I yeah, bet it is. I really want to know. I want to know where <laughs> this is being sold, and I want to know what that small thing is. All right, we can find out on the new episode so, of Daily, 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 as we got normal lemonade here in a in a very homemade. Twenty nine sp- euros? Are you kidding me? I went oh. to the original post. Jesus, what? Twenty nine euro. For deconstructed spag bowl. <laughs> what the hell? What is this show? At least right. that's what it says on the Twitter post it originally comes from. What? 29 euro. That's insane. Uh, what What are the bets that we're going to get deconstructed lemonade? Um, probably. <laughs> that's 35. That's 35 US dollars. Oh! Spaghetti? You know how much spaghetti I can buy and make for thirty-five dollars? What? Look, you can pick up. <laughs> you can probably make like thirty pounds of spaghetti for That's a pack of ton of spaghetti. For that much, I I, I could get the good meat. Yeah. Whoa. I, I could get ribeye, um, <laughs> ground it up and use that as the meat. As the meat ah, yeah, instead of the cheap, instead of the cheap <laughs> ground beef, like the. But now I have a clip of brown going. I could get the good meat. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dale, I can get the good meat. <laughs> Love you, Raoul. Please come back. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. What, welcome to my world of saying stupid shit on the internet. Ooh, look, train. Uh, I'm gonna just. Okay. I should really close my curtains for when I do the show. Uh, so. All right. <laughs> got... The next thing is lemonade. We got lemonade. Are we gonna here. get deconstructed lemonade? Are we gonna just get lemons? <laughs> Lemons and sugar. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna scroll down. Hipster lemonade. Skinny lemonade charcoal flavoured. Oh, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Detoxifying lemonade that draws toxins from your body for reduced bloating and glowing skin. Okay. <laughs> I mean... The, I mean... The word detoxifying makes me really angry because that's what your liver does. Also, um, the word bloating, really... really yeah. well, I mean, yes. <laughs> but, like, your liver your liver detoxifies your body. That's what it does. That's its job. If it's not doing its job, you need to go to a doctor. <laughs> Immediately. Do not drink skinny lemonade charcoal. No. <laughs> it's got coconut in it, though. Okay. <laughs> Doctor, my, my skin's all black and my teeth are black. What have you been doing? I've Stop been putting no, charcoal on yourself. <laughs> and my liver is not de- um, deconstructing not itself. not detoxifying my de- body. De- detoxifying. Like, no. Oh, God. Oh, man. All right. It hurts. It, 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 it makes me so angry that it hurts. That's oh. what the word detoxifying is. intentionally make you angry or look insane. I hope you realize this. <laughs> all right. So normal sausages. It's fine. So we got normal sausages here. Normal ass sausages. Yeah, they look like normal ass sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I do this to myself. Uh, now we got deconstructed sausages. You, you watch. <laughs> hipster sausages. Chicken lemon kale sausages. That's not hipster. I mean, it's got kale. It's, kale. it's, chi- it's chicken <laughs> sausage with kale. It's. <laughs> That's what makes it hipster. I love the two of you at the same time going, Oh, it's got kale, Dale. Jeez. <laughs> Are you up to hipster standards? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, that's not... I would eat that. Uh, $6.59 I a pound? Just, I don't... I mean... I don't know. I would probably try it. Oh, yeah. I probably I'd wouldn't enjoy it. it. Because I don't enjoy the texture or the taste of kale, so... The chicken sausage is good, though. I enjoy a good chicken sausage. Uh, So we got normal ice cream. Chicken sausage is fine. Yeah. Normal chicken sausage. Alright. We got normal ice cream. uh, With choc chips. And it's it's in a waffle cone. And she has a a pink uh, thumb. Nail. Uh, I don't know why I separated those Good description there, Dale. Thank you. I mean, this is going up on the Patreon as MP3, so I have to, yeah. Have <laughs> oh, to right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so we've got hipster ice cream. We've got something called a restore, which has got kale, banana, and pineapple in it. Uh, we've got green detox, more detoxifying. Mm. Got kale, spinach, mm. apple, pineapple, lemon, ginger, and cane pepper. Blech. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, no, that's cayenne. A uh, cayenne. Cayenne, yeah. <laughs> oh, Wait, God, are these not... individually packaged? It looks like it contains uh, no. three. No, three. I think it's oh, okay. three. Mm. Three five ounce pops. Wow, five ounces isn't much for an ice cream pop, though. It's true. It's not. I mean, it's what's that? Oh, does it say? Oh, it says only. I can't tell if it's an eight or a six. It's either eighty-eight milliliters <laughs> or, 66. or a sixty-eight. <laughs> and I don't know. I can't tell. The resolution is not very good, and I don't feel like googling it. So. No, yeah, yeah, I want to save you the trouble. Uh, so we got normal beer. All right, we got normal ass beer, deconstructed beer. Please tell me it's deconstructed beer. Deconstructed beer. Deconstructed I beer. I doubt it. I bet it will. Hipster uh, beer. Oh my god, it's served in test tubes. Are you kidding me? Why? Um, why? That why, head, though. Why do you want that much head on that beer? Like, that is foam. That's like 100% yeah. foam. That's a lot of head, too. I don't want. <sighs> It is. It is a lot. That's a lot for a girl to handle. Um, <laughs> I have a loop that that just came out of my mouth. I didn't even mean for that to happen. Oh, um, all right, I'm gonna see myself out. Uh, bye. This is uh, the best. I am. I'm. You, you, you two host I'm the so show glad now. I stopped in before I go. <laughs> I'm so glad I stopped in before I go to see Avengers tonight. Oh. Like this is. I still need this made my day 100% better. No, don't say it. I, I, no, I'm not going to say anything, but I saw it uh, yesterday. <sighs> oh, nice. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I've decided, I decided I wanted to go to, like, the latest showing tonight because I don't want there to be children, and tomorrow uh, there is school, which means uh, if, <laughs> if adults are, parents are good, they will not bring their children to a 10 o'clock showing have... of the adventure. You don't have any of those theaters where, like, they will bounce you? No. Like, 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 I, like what? Not really. Because, um, one of the theaters Our that theater I is so go small, to... they... All the, the theater that I have is really small. Like, I live, I live in a city, but it's like, I mean, I'm in Maine. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Aww. Um, <laughs> so, like, like, my city is big, I guess, but... For, for Maine, it's big. Anyway, um, um, they're so such a small theater. They want all the money they can get. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they don't care. I basically. can understand Once that. Once they've got it, I I love going to my small theater here locally. Uh, we're a relatively mm -hmm. decent sized town, but we have a small sort of. It's a chain, but it it used to be an old art house theater. Oh, nice. So all the theaters are small. They had to build a VMAX theater, which is fine. But all the rest of them are very, like, small conference room sized. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So. We just got really comfy seats, so I'm really excited Ooh. about that. So. There you go. Uh, back to hipster beer and handling a lot of head. Anyway, hipster. So much head. Uh, by the way, what is this clay thumb in the background? <laughs> Wait, I think that's a person thumb, isn't it? Is that a person? Um, yes. I'm that's a person. Girl, he needs to moisturize. He needs the head. <laughs> also, how do you drink that? That all the beer would come out at once. Uh, Ugh. Anyway. Like, you would just get a no you would just get a nose full of full of Head, okay. We just, I can't, <laughs> we have to just move on from this. <laughs> A mouth full of head! That's it. It's just... Okay, what's next? Next! <laughs> <laughs> Normal burger, that's what's next. Normal burger! Normal, so we got a normal... Normal ass burger. An ass burger with lots of head. <laughs> <laughs> We're going, we going long haul on this post show. <clears throat> okay.
<laughs> as long as I'm oh, off by man. quarter to quarter to nine, I'm I'm good. Quarter to ten. Quarter to nine? Quarter to ten. What time is it? Where are my pants? It's about to be good. <laughs> Uh, howdy, boosty douche, you've came in at the right time, we're talking about Asperger's, hey! Uh, so yeah, that's a regular bun, that's a sesame seed bun, you've got, uh, ketchup there, you've got a meat patty, you've got lettuce, I'm assuming cheese is there somewhere. And it looks almost, maybe, like there could be bacon on that cheeseburger, or on that burger. Oh yeah, what's, what's oh yeah, next? that. Uh, we've got hipster burger, it's green! Oh, good, the green, green bread. <laughs> and obviously a meatless patty. Of course, it's a veggie um, patty. And, of course. And beets, maybe? Yeah, they're beets. Or like, are those- uh, those are definitely beets. There's no way those are anything but beets. I mean, this is a hipster burger! <laughs> <laughs> it's a hipster oh, burger, so of course there's- of course it's um, beets. Uh, it's got- that looks like spinach. There, yeah, though, it looks like well. spinach. Or, and maybe sprouts? Oh yeah, sprouts coming on. Oh, that's what you want, is that sp sprout looking at you, dangling off the end mm. there. Mm. <laughs> that's oh, what you man. want. Alright, so we got normal potato chips. Oh god. Are up next. God, we're at number seven. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got hipster chips. All natural, IPS, egg white, chips. Aged white cheddar they, flavor. Why are they chips? Chips. Why are they chips? I don't understand <laughs> why it's in parentheses. Oh, is it because that's the oh intelligent protein sex? That's the, oh. that's the name of the brand. That's why they. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> that's a stretch and a half out of ten. IPS. Ooh. Well done. Uh, your chips. Oh. Yeah. Egg white. I, I maybe possibly scrolled down to the next one. Um, now, <laughs> no, back on the egg white chip hips, which is now how I'm saying it, by the way. Wait, egg whites what? The egg white. Egg white chips. The egg white chip hips. Chip hips. Okay, I heard something else. Uh oh, <laughs> what did you hear? I heard egg white chips. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's what you get after eating them. <laughs> Hey! Uh, so we got normal coffee. Uh, that looks like a flat white, actually. So the latte with some nice art on it, which you could call that hipster in and of itself. Uh, next up, we've got deconstructed coffee! <laughs> this is what you'll be eating or drinking. <laughs> I'll be eating it. Um. <laughs> Um, I want to. I've tried googling where to find it, but I- that no one can tell me where to find it, and all the articles are linking back to 2016. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Our crack research team need to get on that, aka, uh, me and a GPS. Uh, <laughs> when I'm in Melbourne, I just walk into every cafe and go, Hey, do you sell deconstructed coffee? Is that still a thing? Just, no, just go to, go out, to Welling. Right. So when you, <laughs> the next time you decide you want to go into enemy territory and go to Wellington, there's like Hello. 20 million coffee shops. There's mm -hmm. like six coffee, like there's one street, I can't remember the name of it. There were four shoe stores in a row <laughs> and then two coffee places next to each other. Like, <gasps> I don't understand. I don't. It's like just literally just coffee and shoes in Wellington. That's all there is. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome movie title. <laughs> coffee and shoes in Wellington. All right, let's let's commission Taika TT to make that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we got normal cereal. These look like uh, cocoa puffs, puffs rather. They look like chocolate, uh, rice puffs in milk. Oh, we got a deconstructed cereal, aren't we? No, we're just gonna get hipster cereal where it's like all made with yeah, cardboard you're, you're instead right. of trees because we don't want to heat eat the trees. You're right. Um, from one, from <laughs> one, anyway. from one degree organic foods, uh, veganic. That's not a word. That is not a word. <laughs> Venegatic. Still not saying it right. I would, I would, I would, I would argue that it's veganic. Oh, that's still not I a word. I bet that they're they're doing vegan organic in the same word. Uh huh. 
Uh, by the way, One Degree Organic Foods, their tagline uh, is, Every ingredient has a story. Okay. <laughs> that's a thing. Uh, so, veganic... <laughs> just, just, that's it. That's the only thing I have that's for that. That's just... the only thing you have for that. Okay. Alright. Uh, so, we got veganic sprouted brown rice cocoa crisps grains surf oh that's the french version that picture's all right though sans gluten sans uh, gluten sans oh, cool. gluten much like this show <laughs> we are sans gluten <laughs> <laughs> the generic live show now sans gluten <laughs> Oh. All right. Where's so Embeam when we need him to I make more photoshops? I know, right? <laughs> I'm taking daily, daily. I know you're taking that. Huh? Amazing. All right. I understand. Okay, I've, I've, I've got a thing about gluten free. Uh huh. It's Hot good takes. because there's some people. Yeah, there's some people who are allergic to gluten, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it now it's good that, for those people. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, I take it it's kind of a good thing that it's like very big right now because it's easier for them to get a hold of gluten free. Right. Yes. But now that it's like, oh, it's the cool thing. It's so mainstream, now, yeah. See Yeah. I work it's mainstream but too mainstream. I've <laughs> I've probably <laughs> I've probably said this before, but I work at a candy store. Um and we mostly make like like specialty chocolate. And so I get the question all the time, is your oh. chocolate gluten free? I'm like we don't add wheat to it. But yeah, we have wheat in our kitchen, so... About that. Make make your own! Like, I don't... I don't... <laughs> don't I tell like, them I that, do some... you? <laughs> sometimes... No, I don't. So, I, so, I thought you were going to say sometimes. I I'm just like, say, oh, like... No, so I tell them, like, there's no way we can prevent cross-contamination. We literally just have one kitchen. Right. So... And we use... We use there's no way that a problem with gluten um right but i just it's it's just it's a frustrating oh. question i mean i, I work there's in this also there's also no chocolate that you can eat if you are vegan unless it is like 100% dark oh cuz it always has milk yeah there is always some sort of milk or dairy product in it if it's even like like we carry 60 percent that's our like our the only dark chocolate that we have the darkest yeah so like there's but like that's i don't know anyway sorry that was a rant um, that, no that's fine and i'm making this take longer <laughs> uh so we're gonna do one more oh Oh, how about, how about is it some? The, is it the next one? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not. It's find not the next some deconstructed one. ones. It's uh, it's it's the one after, number eleven. Number eleven. So we got oh, normal god. water. Oh god! Oh, <laughs> it's painful. But we have to end on know. a painful one, right? Is that how oh. this works? So we got normal Evian water, which some could argue is hipster enough. That's true. Uh, really? I mean, I mean it's, not... yeah, it's more than more more than like Aquafina or oh. whatever, whatever other <laughs> brands brand. of yeah. plain plain water there is. Right. And now we have Blk. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. What the hell is that? Blue. I'm not drinking that if I'm Alkaline thirsty. Alkaline water. <laughs> I'm not drinking that if I'm thirsty. Yeah, we've got beer for you up up further that's got a lot of head though, so watch out. <laughs> like, yeah. what even... Blook. What? Premium arcane Blook. water. Mm, trace minerals, good. <laughs> no GMO. Did you know that this water is non-GMO? <laughs> Did you know that they did not genetically modify this water? They didn't genify. Genify. They didn't genify. Genify. <laughs> no Jennifers have been added to this water. 
This water is Jennifer free. <laughs> I'm changing my name to Jennifer now. I need to know. I need to know. What the heck? That is. Bluck. What the heck? Bluck. Bluck. <laughs> exactly, uh, Bluck. <laughs> That's what the sound you make. You wash this down with uh, egg chips. Um, Just why what is, is it what is a what's a trace? Looking. What's a what's a trace mineral, by the way? Well, it's it's tr small amounts of minerals. Is what they're what uh, they're saying. Is I thought it, I, I thought I thought trace mineral was something I'd never heard of. I'm gonna scroll down the list here for the video on demand uh, users. Tofu ginger rice muffin. Gross. Uh, I was I was reading something else and I just heard gingers and I was like gonna get offended for a second but then I realized it was like ginger as an ingredient. Oh, oh. Ginger as a oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said your trigger word, I'm sorry. <laughs> And like, to be honest, it was going to be fake effect. So, <laughs> what is this? Hips, okay. Oh, God. Are you down Why the, are you, is it in are a you down the, pan? wait, what? Hipster sandwiches. Did you get to the sandwich one? Number four. It is a, <sighs> it is a sandwich in a dustpan. Hang on. No, we're going back to this. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I, oh, God. Why? I have to scroll back. I have to scroll past the head again. <laughs> All of these are terrible, though. Re I know, like, right? Whoa. Seriously. <laughs> Rao's hooked on the uh, dustpan sandwiches. Uh, what number is it? 12? Whoop. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, I have a question uh, about... Sorry. Uh... Go ahead. Uh, do it again. Uh, my internet crapped out. As I'm crapped out again. <laughs> Best one. Sorry, again, my internet crapped out. I'll ask that again. Oh, okay. Number 16. Restaurants. Uh, uh, what do I... What am I... Where are the sandwiches? I haven't made it to the sandwiches yet. I've, I've, I've made it past... Four, number 14 is the sandwich. I made it past the breakfast that was served in a shovel. I made it past there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hey, I switched oh. the show. Uh, Bluck, muffins. Ugh. I don't understand. Spring rolls. Uh, all right, sandwiches. Oh, girl, and the the brush is still there. It's like right there. Yeah. <sighs> Who does that? If you I... don't, if if you need a plate, just it's a sandwich. Use your hands. I don't <laughs> like. You can eat it straight from the cutting board. I would much rather a cutting board to come out than a dustpan and brush. Oof. And also, 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 hipsters, bangers, and mash is really dumb. Ugh. Like, how the heck do you how the heck do you even eat that? With a spoon, apparently. At uh, normal restaurants and hipster restaurants, sausage. I quite enjoy. You can't eat sausage with a spoon. <laughs> I need that on my gravestone. You can't eat sausage with a spoon. <laughs> um, wait, there's only... Is this the hipster thing? There's only 16 of them here when there's meant to be 32. Oh, maybe there's 32 pictures. There's two ah, for each one. Okay, I'm a dumbass. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the hipster restaurants. I... I Hmm. That's not a hipster restaurant. That's a fancy like that's an outdoor cafe. Looks like that, right? Um, but that's a dumpster, is what you're, isn't it? Like that. That's like a you're trash sitting thing. inside of a dumpster. What? Oh, I just okay. <laughs> Apparently, I'm too hipster to notice the fact <laughs> that people are sitting in a dumpster. <laughs> Dale Campbell, everyone, who died. <laughs> yeah, that, okay. Hey, well, at least they don't have to hire waiters to clear tables. They can just... Yeah. <laughs> just leave it there. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, waiters have very important job. I'm not saying that in this particular case. They only need servers to, to bring out food. That's awesome. 
Also, I can't read that yeah, sign. They don't, they don't need anybody to bust the table. They just yeah, right. <laughs> they just leave everything there. And then people go, mm. "Oh man, they should have cleared up before uh, before we sat down." Hey, and then they realize they're sitting in a dumpster. Hey, I feel really dumb for not picking up on that straight away. It's all right. It's it's a little bit overwhelming, the <laughs> amount of hipster garbage there is. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to <laughs> Melbourne this week. <laughs> you guys. I think that's that's why it got sent to me, to be completely honest. Probably. <laughs> Is that yeah, Carrie knew I was going to uh, going to Melbourne, so she thought she would... You're central? <laughs> yeah, right. It's the central. <laughs> Alright, we better kick this thing, uh, because I'm going to get yelled at for going too long in the post-show. Uh, anything else before we go? I don't think so. You don't think so? Is that a, this was a fun no. show? It was a little bit more serious than, than normal that I've been doing of late. That's alright. That's good. But also, we still have the, the comedic, you know, the relief from the serious. So I think that's good. Yeah, we, we balanced good it balance. out. Uh, we got a lot of head, though, in this post-show, so that's... <laughs> that's exciting. All right, everyone. <laughs> Good night. Stay tuned for Gaming Bye. Geeks coming up here Bye. real soon. Gaming Geeks coming up live. That won't help people listening after the fact, but that's... that's okay, I'm just going to shut up now. <laughs>